think this thing is on. Awesome, just rolled into Gettysburg a few minutes ago. And it started to snow, which is so cool. Storm's just gonna last for pretty much overnight tonight. It's gonna be in the 50s tomorrow. So it's nothing really nothing really super extended but it's still always a cool thing she driving around in Gettysburg and a snowstorm coming down they about, get about one to three inches I think is what they're calling for so it's nothing major and it'll be melted melting away by tomorrow so This is the first trip up Gettysburg in 20, 2018. It's hard to believe my first trip here was almost 50 years ago. <laughs> I was a four-year-old kid. Came up here with my grandparents and my brother, sister, mom, and dad. And I uh, distinctly remember trying to con my grandparents into buying me a, uh, a musket. I was fascinated with those at that age. I knew all the progressions of loading it, and mostly from watching Daniel Boone, but it was still the same concept as the Civil War pieces. At the age of 52, I'm still a nerd. Just rolling through the side of heavy, heavy combat right through here, up near the Rose Farm. So where a lot of the photographs of dead soldiers were taken in these fields right over here after the battle. Soldiers up, buried up in, for burial right up in these, this area here. And Bill Frasnita found them all. The locations, which is really cool. And coming down here into the wheat field area. Farm up here. And this used to be a catfish pond. The guy that owned the rose farm after the battle turned this in, into a pond. And then another post battle alteration besides these roads coming through here is this is where the old trolley trolley bed came through here. Gettysburg Electric Railway followed this path over here down through the woods. It's now a hiking trail. It's kind of hard to believe that at one point they had a trolley coming through here. It's my favorite place.